first came to the ships uh, we were all tested and uh, were given the opportunity for vaccines, which they were very happy because for most of them, they couldn't get vaccines in their own country. So we were fortunate that we received vaccines from the state of Florida, from Texas, from Alabama. All of our crew have been vaccinated. And upon vaccination, they went into a 14 day quarantine. Uh, and then they were tested again. We are testing our crew on a regular basis. Uh, percentage of crew are tested because we wanna make sure we keep them safe, but we also want all of our guests to be safe. So we're looking at what's happening. I think we all watch the news and can see that uh, the Delta variant, there is a greater number of cases. And the good news is for those of you that are vaccinated, that the hospitalization rates and uh, serious illness is very, very low. Like. But if you're unvaccinated, you are at, at greater risk. And so we are encouraging uh, everyone that is unvaccinated to wear a mask when they are indoors. And we'll look and see if we need to increase uh, those uh, you know, requirements for everyone. Again, when we're indoors, when we're in enclosed spaces where there's a lot of people, where there's singing, all the things we've learned of how COVID is spread. So we're working very closely as an industry with the CDC. We have our own at Carnival Corporation a team of outside medical advisors. And so, as you said, we have learned, if nothing else, how to pivot quickly. And so we will just ask if we need to do that, we'll communicate and we'll ask for all of our guests' cooperation because I think it's uh, in the interest of everyone's health and safety. How do you all feel about that? Yeah. We have to do, as, as Christine said, we have to do this right. We have to protect the crew, but most important, we have to protect all of you. And we have to do this right now so that we can eventually reach that home port of normal cruising again, which we will, right? And, and I think speaking of ports, remember that the destinations where we're bringing the ships also have their own situations in their communities, and we have to be very sensitive to those requirements. So we know that there are some destinations where we won't be able to, uh, we may not be able to debark unvaccinated guests, or we have to provide proof of that uh, all of the guests that are vaccinated that want to get off the ship have been vaccinated. So we think between now and the end of the year, we, you know, as we get through the fall and, and this variant, and hopefully, hopefully more people will get vaccines. And that's what we really need most of all. And, and that these will be temporary measures. And at some point, you know, we can look back on this and, and get beyond it. But for now, we are all just be ready to do whatever it takes so that we can continue operating our cruises in the U.S. We want to, you know, that that's the idea. And I think by looking out at all these people here, they would agree with you. That, and the fact that they're here sitting here now shows how much they wanted to cruise again. And we cannot thank you enough again for your work. So, with that in mind, you often refer to Carnival as America's cruise line, and there are some great news coming up with more additional ships sailing. What can you tell us about the future? Well, first I want to say, because I do refer to Carnival as America's cruise line, that I just came from our military tribute event that we hold on every Carnival cruise, and uh, I was... It is very emotional, and uh, our, our lovely singer, I've, I've never heard the Star Spangled Banner sung so beautifully, but um, we had a packed, packed room in the theater, and, and it really was such a great honor for me to be able to participate in that, and I hope everybody has seen our new honors tribute lamb. Rock Carnival Celebration, coming to Miami at the end of next year. And we, uh, we, br we broke ground in Miami for a new terminal that will be uh, purpose-built for her. And she'll be uh, really the culmination of our 50-year 
birthday celebration for Carnival Cruise Line, who will turn 50 in March of 2022. So we have our celebration. I hope we'll, we'll see many of you on those special sailings. I think a lot of them have booked for those yes, celebrations. Yes. If you haven't, I urge you, see your travel agent, please call us because there are going to be some wonderful <laughs> celebrations. Yeah, we, and we've got some travel there, agents on the There they are. If you need a good travel agent, there's, they're all over the room. They're the month and, the, and uh, September and October. We are returning more ships to service as well. Well, we're, we're, we're bringing more ships back. We've announced September and October. By the end of October, we'll have 15 ships back. Uh, you know, everything. And we've got a number of ships in, uh, in dry dock. Uh, that are coming out with our new livery colors, which I love. I'm so happy with the new blue livery. Uh, so Carnival Magic is going to be sailing out of Port Canaveral, and she's got her new beautiful blue. Carnival Glory is coming to New Orleans, so uh, she has she has the new blue as well. And then we recently announced that Carnival is uh, is going to take a slot in the shipyard in Germany from our sister brand. So we'll be delivering a third XL ship at the end of 2023. So the really fun part is now, I mean, the, the doing the first ship is always really challenging because there's so many firsts and things you don't know. And, you know, being able to see now the flow, we have our new build team here. I know Glenn and Petu are on board, the ship designers. Um, to really see how people use the ship. So we'll have a chance with Celebration uh, to make some changes, you know, maybe probably more the way we did between Vista and Horizon and then Panorama. So, you know, we love hearing all of your feedback. Uh, and then the third ship, we're already all over that. We've got to get that ready. We'll have to announce our home port. And uh, I know her, her name. So I continue to get lots of suggestions do about you? the name. Yes, Did I you, do. Can you share some of them? No. Oh. <laughs> can we announce the home port is Cleveland, Ohio? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I jumped so, the gun. And, and then we are also getting another ship. So Carnival is uh, is taking a ship from our Italian brand Costa and we are gonna transform that ship and she'll become a carnival, an additional carnival cruise ship. So even though we did retire or recycle the four fantasy class ships during the pause, uh, by the end of 2023, we'll actually have more cabins to sell than we started with, so pre-COVID. But that's built really on the strength of our brand, America's Cruise Line, 14 U.S. home ports and the ability for people to drive. Uh, I think 50% of the population can drive to a carnival cruise vacation in five hours or less. You know, we are moving quickly. We have a lot, you know, we, we, we are trying to get ships back into some of the home ports where the port communities have really struggled uh, over these many months where they had no cruisers. So they didn't have people coming in early and staying at a hotel and taking the ride to the airport and renting the car and people forgot you know it wasn't just about the cruise lines and ours it was it was the impact on all of the other communities that rely on us and and jobs so we are we're grateful that we can come back and we know that it matters a lot to the communities uh, that we that we come back not only to the big ports but to some of our smaller home ports. So we're looking forward well, to that. Well, we saw that in Amber Cove, didn't we, when we were there and the, yes. the first lady came yes. to see you and the excitement and I saw some photos of Cozumel and our first call yes. back there with Carnival Breeze and just everybody from the, the young man that pedals people up and down the pier to the shop sellers to the taxi drivers. The sight of this whale tail coming into port is a real blessing after such awful times so as christine quite rightly says we're all part of this big family and, and thanks to all of you you're able to support us and we can then in turn support so many other people so it is a big family circle we are back yes!